What's up, Bargy family? Welcome back to my channel. I'm no longer pregnant, but I am dressed a little bit more for comfort today because there's a C-section scar right here. Anyways, but that's not the point of this video today. We're in Dollar Tree to check out what is new. Come along with me as I walk slowly and try to find things and not hurt my body. If you're feeling thirsty, they have these really huge cups. They're bigger than my daughter. They're really cute, but oh my gosh, like it's huge. What is this? This is the tumbler next to my two week old daughter. I'm telling you guys, when she was born, she was the exact same length as this tumbler. This thing is huge. They have these really pretty citronella candles. These come in a frosted glass and then they got like the little buckets. I haven't seen these before at Dollar Tree. In the Dollar Tree Plus section, they also have the citronella bucket candles in this size. And you can see for $1.75 more, you get a lot more. So maybe if you have a Dollar Tree Plus and you need these, check out this section as well. I'm gonna pair a few of these all together with the small and the big one. But like, look, you get a lot more in the Plus section. I've noticed the citronella products from Dollar Tree work really well, including their sticks. All the Dollar Tree Pluses are popping up near me. For $5, you can get this big solar lantern so only three dollars and 25 cents or three dollars and 75 cents more than what you would pay for the small lanterns from dollar tree so this is actually a really good price so you can see we got the five dollar lantern and then a dollar and 25 cents so again this is actually a steal and if you can find these i would get this over this unless you need the small kind dollar tree has this big nautical collection in right now and what i ended up doing was getting one of the starfishes from dollar tree and gluing it to one of my blue lanterns to give it that nautical look and it's something easy you can do to just change the look of your lantern to suit your decor. Another thing is you can get the wood planks from Dollar Tree, at least four of them, glue them together. I used wood glue to do this. And you can use this as a base to add height between your lanterns. I didn't want all my lanterns in the front of my house to be the same height. So I glued four together, placed my lantern on top of that. And now I have that nice variety in height with the lanterns. And I really like these lanterns. They give off a really nice glow where the the candle is. Dollar Tree has so many beautiful solar lights right now. So many. These look like light bulbs and they have fairy lights inside of them. They have ones that look like little like lanterns almost. They have these new cracked glass ones. There's so many to choose from and we're definitely going to be doing a DIY with video with these soon. Cooper's going to love the butterfly ones. He loves butterflies. The butterflies are They glide up. Just yes. Do it. Show me the butterflies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at ants. You want to see ants? Yes. <laughs> Dollar Tree has these spray nozzles, and these are actually really, really, really good for the price. I use these every single year, and they aren't leaking. These are really good, I'm telling you. These nozzles have seven settings. It's center, cone, soaker, mist, shower, jet and flat and i'm telling you guys it really works well it is worth the dollar and 25 cents it's actually a steal at a dollar and 25 cents i use this to clean up cooper's little plastic pool if you know anything about plastic outdoor toys oh my gosh they get dirty so easily it rains one time you forget to put it away it gets covered in leaves and dirt and all this stuff so i used it on the pool along with some soap because just water isn't going to cut it with this and it just does a really good job of getting rid of all the grime and stuff that is inside of the pool i do highly recommend these I haven't shared these on my channel before, but Dollar Tree gets these in every summer. It is these food tents and they are awesome. You just push the little like piece inward. It's almost like you're pushing up on an umbrella and then you place it over your food. It's actually a good size so it can cover like a good, decent sized tray. And I really do like these. The only thing is if it's windy outside, these are gonna blow away unless you can anchor them down somehow. Dollar Tree has pompous, you guys. I know they have them in different colors right now. All I can find is the gray. So pretty, they put in here all these dusty tones. This pompous is absolutely gorgeous. I placed three of the stems inside of my vase and I paired it with some of those flowers that have that dusty tone that were already near the pompous. And this is just gorgeous, super inexpensive. And it looks really high end, especially near all of the gold accent pieces of decor that I have on top of my fireplace. I really like the way that this looks. 
me before pregnancy, me after pregnancy. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this beautiful bee collection. Oh, Cooper loves bees. Bees, he, he's really into bugs, it's kind of gross. But this is so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get this for Cooper. You know, it's plates and stuff, but watch, you can see how happy he gets. It's so cute. You know what? I bought just one set of the bee stuff for my son. And then after I placed it on the table, I was like, oh my gosh, I want my tablescape to be bees. I never thought I would be really into bee decor, but man, this stuff is so cute. When he saw it, he was just like, honey bee, honey bee. I don't know why this is randomly sitting here, but look at these little bee. I don't know, it's like a honeycomb of sorts. What is this exactly? Table decorations. These are cute though. I love the bee stuff. If you have a bee tablescape, you could put those little cages on top of the plate. And then I, I would add like a cute little bee inside of there with the name, um, but I put some utensils inside of there and it looks like they're in jail. Dollar Tree has this collection every year. It's the lemonade or lemon collection. And this is so popular. It sells out real fast and you could do so many pretty things with these, especially with the placemats. One of the best things to make with the seasonal dinnerware from Dollar Tree are tear trays. You just gotta glue the place together with some candle holders from Dollar Tree. And then another thing I like to do is use the placemats and the kitchen towels from the seasonal pieces to make pillowcases. And usually I just glue the placemats together or the kitchen towels together using hot glue. I stuff them with some stuffing that I get from a Walmart pillow. It's cheaper to do it that way. And then I glue the end and then I have some easy throw pillows. Want to see me get wild? I'm using a hula hoop after a C-section. <laughs> my hips so light. <laughs> Cooper has this like rocket thing that you step on and it goes flying. I want to try this one. See what it does. So what my son has is called a stomp rocket. You step on it and it flies way high in the air. This doesn't fly as far, obviously. It's much smaller. It's from Dollar Tree, but it's still really fun. Oh, look at these collapsible storage containers. So it is in an angle like this. I wonder if I can make it more sturdy and have it hold books or something. I don't know, and I like the pattern on this as well. My nightstand has been accumulating books. The books fall all over the ground all the time. I have been reading to Cooper inside of the bedroom because we got rid of the recliner that was in his room to make room for a big boy bed and the crib. So basically like my nightstand is just covered in books. I decided to put the books inside of this so that they would stop falling inside of the ground. I didn't have to do anything to the sides. I thought that if I put too many books that it might start collapsing and it didn't. It's working out perfectly for me. It's much better than the mess that was there before. Dollar Tree has like, I think they're supposed to be trivet mats. They're, or trivet, I don't know how you pronounce that word. This says table mat on it, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be to put your hot pots on top of. And it's more of like a cork material. I'm actually gonna try to heat up something and see if it melts. But these are really pretty, even if you're just going to use these to DIY with. Like you can literally make like a little tear tray out of this. I wasn't sure this was supposed to be a trivet, so I boiled some hot water and I placed the hot pot on the trivet. Right away, I decided to lift the pot to see if anything melted and there was no melting. So then I decided to pull out my phone with the stopwatch, place the pot back on the trivet and then just wait for it to cool down. And after about 20 minutes of waiting for it to cool down, I lifted up the pot and you can see nothing melted. There is no damage to the design. So I'm pretty sure you can use this as a trivet. I just wasn't sure because this is table mat. Oh, you know what's another idea with these? Maybe use these to hold things, just get like the little pins because it is corkboard. So you can use it to hold pictures or other things. Dollar Tree starting to get more of the fridge bins in. These are awesome, you guys. I love these for more than just the refrigerator, but they work best inside of the refrigerator, obviously, because they're fridge, fridge storage bins. So I'm in the baby section and if you have a baby, they have this like milk baby shampoo conditioner and then this moisturizing cream. It says 95% naturally derived, made in Australia. And I looked at the reviews online and they're pretty good. So I'm gonna test this out. I might test it out on myself before I test it out on the well. So I tried the bath wash and the lotion on myself. The bath wash actually smells like tea tree oil, even though there's no tea tree oil inside of it. It's a very fresh 
smell. And then the lotion, it smells like what I call grandma powder only because my grandma had this powder all the time inside of her bathroom and it has a similar smell to the lotion. It goes on very like creamy and it looks like it's gonna be greasy on the skin but it's not your skin absorbs it relatively quickly and it feels very soft so I haven't tried this on a well I wanted to try it on me first I ended up trying the body wash and the cream on Cooper and there was no problems and he smelled really good okay so I have like a different version of this it is a baby diaper cream applicator and these are amazing you guys because like trying to put the diaper cream with your finger sucks especially if you have longer nails get yourself some of these so I'm actually gonna buy a few of these so I have them in my diaper bags and inside of the house and the upstairs and the downstairs I do have the longer ones I'm talking about but it's like all the time you'll end up losing one and you're looking for another so I'm gonna get a few of these because it's so much better than applying anything with your finger trust me I own the Baby Bum Diaper Cream Applicator from Target. I paid around $6 for it. It's a bit bigger than the one from Dollar Tree, but both of them do the exact same thing. It's just one is longer. So, I mean, for $1.25, I would just get a bunch from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has this little shower travel kit collection out right now. They're really cute. There's like airplanes on it. And this is a great price because at Target, this costs like freaking five bucks plus all the time when I need these little bottles. And last minute I end up in Target and I have to spend more money on it. And this is actually a better quality than the other ones that they carry that are normally like this. So I mean, like get things for the summertime at Dollar Tree instead of spending more money somewhere else. This comes with two bottles, a loofah, something to put over your toothbrush and a little circle container. The one from Target, it's $8. It comes with four bottles and a sprayer, but you can always buy another pack of the ones I just showed to get four bottles. And then you could get the little pack from Dollar Tree that has the sprayer in it. And it also comes with bottles and you're still saving money. So I decided to put some shampoo inside of one of the little bottles to see if it leaks. So what I did is I placed this back inside of the plastic bag and then I started to shake it around to see if it would leak at all. And I was like, I can only shake it around for so long. So I decided to lay it on its side and see if anything would then leak that way I waited about two hours and nothing leaked out of it now this is not necessarily scientific and it doesn't mean that it's not going to leak because even the stuff from Target if something goes on top of this that's heavy enough in your luggage it might leak but with me shaking it around and leaving it on its side for two hours it didn't leak I recently purchased some Barbie accessories at Dollar Tree. They just got these pools in and you know what? These would be great for a sandbox if you have a child that plays with the little people inside of the sandbox like Cooper does. We actually put it inside of his sandbox and instead of using the little people inside of there, he started taking his cars that were covered in sand and dipping it inside of the water to clean them. It was really cute. I haven't seen these before. They're called boogie balloons and they're supposed to be reusable water balloons. It comes with two for $1.25. What you do is you submerge them underneath water and then you close them while they're underneath the water to get them full. And when you throw them, they honestly feel like a like lighter ball hitting your back. But if you have older kids, I can definitely see it hurting because I can see the older kids just like throwing it with a bunch of force and then hurting somebody. <laughs> Does it feel like a water balloon? No, uh, a little bit. <laughs> what does it feel like? More like you threw a ball at me. <laughs> it feels like you threw a ball at me. <laughs> I like to share the toys Dollar Tree has to offer because I do not like when people say all the toys at Dollar Tree are trash. They got this Waggles brand in. It's not name brand, but you get these little characters and then they have a park set. The park comes with a merry-go-round and each is sold separately, a swing and a seesaw. I had bought my son this like bluey set. It cost me like 20 something dollars and it was like pretty much the same thing except it came with bluey characters. These are super fun and the quality of them it's not anything really cheap I mean it, it, it's what you expect for something like this whether you buy it at Target or not do you have dry cracked nipples get be pure nipple balm no this is pretty cool I'm actually gonna get this and there's belly balm too I'm gonna give these a try especially this one right now yo you you feel me if you have breastfed oh. what boobs this video is literally about boobs <laughs> They even have a belly mask if you're pregnant to put on your belly to reduce stretch marks. 
both products say they have natural ingredients. I tried the belly balm. It did go on kind of greasy, but again, once it absorbed into the skin, wasn't anything greasy. And I can't say that it left my skin feeling super moisturized, but my skin is so dry right now, you guys. It is horrible. And then the nipple balm does not say that it's safe for breastfeeding. So if you do use it, I would wipe it off. It's not like the lanolin cream. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.